everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another action figure vehicle review, if you will. You're probably wondering, where the hell is the damn thing? Well, Brad, keep rolling, 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 because here is the, uh, I don't think it's brand new. It's definitely not brand new. But today, guys, we have a brand new action figure vehicle that you may want to put on your own WWE action figures or something like that. I'm definitely, like, I, this is the time, this is the time where I wish I had thicker shelves, because things like this won't fit on my shelf, you know? Like, my shelves are really, really thin. I would love to have a bigger room, a thicker shelves, you know, thicker shelves around the room where I could, like, put on display, like, defining moments. Like, on my Seth Rollins shelf with the money in the bank, like, have a ladder and have him at the top of the, you know, the top of the ladder with the money in the bank, and then him pedigreeing Triple H at WrestleMania, and then curb stomping somebody, and all of these different things. I wish that I could do that, and then winning the championships and pose them way better than just the vanilla style, but I do enjoy my shelves. It's just, I got a little off topic, Brad, but anyways, stand the hell up, Jey Uso. I have my surgery back here because I just, you know, I just finished up surgery and I was just like, you know what, Brad, F it, you're in the video now. That's, that's it. You, you, you were on set, I'm rolling with it. Pun intended. So here today, guys, I, I have the packaging over here. If you guys are wondering what this is, this is the DC Multiverse Bat Cycle or the Dark Knight's Death Metal Bat Cycle. It's a McFarlane Toys figure. And when I first saw this, I don't I don't know if you guys watch the Floosh. It is a great action figure channel. His name's Robo. He runs the Floosh channel. It's like an action figure channel. He does these weekly things where he breaks down new figures and new things that are releasing. He doesn't do a ton of wrestling stuff, but if you're into like Marvel Legends or SX Figure Arts or any other action figures, guys, definitely go check check out the floosh, but I remember a few months ago, he put up the, uh, an image of this cycle, and he, you know, was talking about it and the release and everything, and I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna pre-order the John Brown thing, I'm just going to, I'm just gonna wait until I see it at retail, maybe I'll see it at retail, and if I can't find it at retail, I'll just buy the John Brown thing off eBay, or I'll, I'll find a way to track it down, because I wanted to put it, you know, with, with, a, with a figure. Where the hell does headband go? Alright, so, this is a DC Bat Cycle, and I wanted to do a quick little short review to you guys, show it off and every Everything like that. Again, it's not a WWE figure vehicle, but it is definitely in scale. You guys already saw the Undertaker wear, not wear, you don't wear vehicles, but he was riding the motorcycle. So he rides the motorcycle. And since we have this death cycle here, I wanted to uh, put it up next to the Undertaker and showcase this to you guys so that you guys could be aware of it if you guys see it and everything like that. So I found it at my local Target the other day and I wanted to pick it up and showcase it to you guys. Get, get, get the hell out of the way. How about we do that? I wanted you on set. Now you're just getting on my John Brown nerves. What's going on over here? So anyways, you guys will notice that it's kind of like a bat skull, right? Like the, the front fender here is the head of a bat. I think it's a bat. I could be wrong about that, but it looks like a bat. It doesn't have wings on it or anything, but it kind of has that shape of a bat. Like it's got the jaw and the teeth and like you guys can see all of the great details. I'm thinking about doing a black wash over the whole thing so that it kind of makes it look a little bit gritty. You'll get black seeped into the details of it. I thought about painting the eyes right here purple or like metallic purple or something to tie into the Undertaker or, or somebody like that. These ribs are actually loose and it's kind of cool because these are kind of how ribs actually are like I bet it you could probably break this off you got this like spinal cord right here you got the spine coming down right here but this is really how ribs are you know they like flail out and stuff they're not really connected to anything because if they are connected they would break easy your ribs are actually made to you know if they get hit they can absorb a little bit because they're not connected or at least I know the lower ribs are I don't know about the upper ribs you know I'm not a doctor I, I know Dr. Whitekiss is here but he's not no damn rib doctor all right if you get hit in the ribs, don't come see me, Brad. Now, if you want to replace your torso, or your legs, or your arms, you can come to me. Or if you want to take your head off and put a new head on, but don't don't f with actual legit breaks in the rib cage. But nonetheless, you got your steel handlebars coming off right here. I really like these handlebars. I like like the steel color they got going on right here. Like the little, you guys can see they have like little circles around them. The brakes don't work obviously, so you're just gonna crash into ish. You got the huge like muffler pipes or exhaust pipes coming off the back right here, and they actually have like decent size holes in there. I don't know if you could plug in some Marvel Legends effects or something. I do have those effects. You guys remember we reviewed those little effects. Also comes with this little trading card of the Bat Cycle. It says Bat Cycle Dark Knight's Death Metal. It's got Batman riding the John Brown thing and on the back it has some info on it. Not going to take the time to read that right now. But in here you can see all the engines and the fans and the motor and all this good stuff going on. I like the like gunmetal gray going on. The seat is really badass. Like it's not soft or anything. It is plastic. But it 
has a really nice sculpt to it, like all this leather detailing going on. And if we flip it on the other side, there's still some more stuff going on. You guys will notice the little bat symbol down there. I'll probably paint over that because I really don't want it to be a bat cycle. I want it to be a really bad, like, like a really badass motorcycle is what I want. But on the back, you can see more spinal cortilage coming off and stuff like that. And this is all that it comes with, you know. It doesn't come with anything. It doesn't come with a figure. It doesn't come with anything like that. And this bike does retail, I think, for like $24.99 and maybe a little bit cheaper than that. But it is a nice piece. Like, it's got some heft to it. You got a ton of detail on this thing. Again, you can't, like, remove this cage or anything. But why would you want to? Because it looks super badass the way it is. Again, bat skull on the front. The tires in the back are super fat. So you got the fat tire in the back with some good tread on there. The front one is on here as well. It feels like a really hard rubber. It's definitely not soft rubber like a Hot Wheel or something like that. It actually has a good heft to it and everything like that. It connects here in the back and you guys will also see that it also has another bat logo. Is that two bat logos? Okay, so you have a bat logo here and on the inside of the wheel and on the other side it doesn't have one and then up front you have a bat, a Batman logo here and on the other side you don't really have much either. So outside of, you know, like crazy entrances and I don't think this would work for everybody obviously. Like Dolph Ziggler, do you think Dolph Ziggler is coming to the ring like this? I don't think so, but I absolutely wanted it for some cool things. So I know a lot of people like to tease about My Damn Nation and they like to think they're like, the other day on my Instagram somebody asked me for a teaser for that. So you guys need to follow me on Instagram for a teaser. I don't even know if it's still up. Maybe it is. Nonetheless, I wanted to get this for Undertaker and possibly Aleister Black. I feel like Aleister Black would look super badass on this. Maybe even Triple H would look badass on this. You guys already saw what he looked like on the bike. He clearly scales really well. That's why I wanted to show it off to you guys, but I think this will fit perfectly into your WWE figure uh, vehicles. I don't think, you know, again, it's going to have to fit with certain characters. If you don't want to use the Wreck and Slam cycle or whatever, I've also seen the Marvel Legends cycle. The Marvel Legends, uh, I think it's the Punisher cycle, but these scale pretty John Brown well together. I think they look really good, and uh, I think they make for really cool pieces. I don't know. You guys can let me know which one is better. Obviously, the, the Batman one is definitely more badass. I mean, that's, I don't think you can even have a match. They need to have a motorcycle on a pole match with the uh, Mattel Wreck and Slam, and then the, you know, the McFarlane Death Cycle over here. But I think what my, my biggest gripe about the WWE one is, is this front fender headlight. I don't like how, like, I don't know, goofy. It just kind of looks goofy. It doesn't match the rest. Like, I really love the rest of the bike, but this right here is just goofy looking. Like, it's like they combined a police chopper or a police, you know, motorcycle that you'd see on, like, GTA San Andreas, and they merged that with a Harley Davidson or a nice Harley or a nice lowrider chopper or something like that. So, that's my only gripes with it. Uh, everything else is uh, is pretty damn good, though. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the playability that I've gotten out of it. I kind of want to grab Aleister Black real quick to see what he would look like on here, but the thing I was talking about with My, with my Damn Nation and a teaser is people always ask for teasers or, or like, little snippets because you guys know we're going to go all out for that show. So, I wanted to post this up and showcase this bike to you guys and uh, just put it in your brain a little bit. Now, I do love Aleister Black's coffin entrance, but you can't say that if he did, if he if he rode in on this with his spiked vest and he was, you know, riding this thing, you wouldn't mark the hell out. So I think this would be super badass and he fits it pretty damn good right there. Like I have his Elite 73 figure and this would clearly fit. Like look how good he looks riding that, bro. He fits perfectly. That's perfect. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. It looks beautiful. But I'm going to thin out some black paint and I'm going to wet it up and then paint over these uh, pieces right here. Let it dry. Maybe it'll look a little better. I may add some some blood to it. I might add a spike or two. I don't know. It's just the uh, the possibilities are definitely endless with this bike, and I can't wait to get into it. I'll probably customize it a little bit more, not have it just so standard. Oh, that's that death cycle. I want people to be like, oh, God in heaven, where the hell did he get that? So that is the plan. We'll see. And if I, if I customize it, I'll definitely make a video about what it looks like afterwards, or maybe you guys will see it later. Wink, wink. But anyways, I plan on finishing Vindication tomorrow, so hopefully that show will be up by the weekend. No promises, but that is what I'm planning to do. When people ask about My Damn Nation release date, I'm aiming for the end of April or the end of May. That is my that is my little deadline. Not deadline, but you guys you guys get the point. But I think that about does it for our review of the Bat Cycle and all the info that I want to tell you guys about. But here you go. You got Undertaker. You got Aleister Black. You guys wanted to see that. There you go. But uh, let's get into our random shout-out before we get the hell out of here. So this shout-out is going to go to Undisputed Figure Collector 97, who says, MDT 
Fenty Hair Dries got something special going on there, young man. The sentence structure isn't the best in this one, but I had to give it to you because I appreciated the comment. Because the trusty white hair dryer do be having something special going on there, young man. And I don't know how good my sentence structure was, but this hair dryer definitely has something special. It has a little something special going on there, young man. And, uh... <sighs> Don't cross the line. 